50,000 ants for every human being on the world today. Ants, unlike humans, are able to safely and effectively handle their own material wastes and those of other species. They can grow and harvest their own food whilst nurturing the ecosystem of which they are a part and they maintain the soil health for the entire planet. For over one million years, mankind, like ants, has lived largely in harmony with nature. But 150 years ago, we learned how we could start burning carbon taken from underground and came up with the concept of waste. We started thinking in a completely different way and now we have nowhere else to put our waste and things are hotting up. On this project, university departments have played a key role, providing the rationale for reintroducing some old, largely ignored, but largely economical and sustainable methods of construction. The, the secret to the method, what really makes it work, is that the first layer is made with a gypsum mortar, which is like plaster of Paris, and that sets so quickly, it's hard within five minutes. So you you cast a piece of this and five minutes later it's hard and it's brittle. So what that allows you to do is by putting gypsum mortar on two edges you can place the tile, hold it for about 20 seconds, let go and the tile will float in space held only by a fast setting plaster of Paris on two edges. used for construction are locally sourced and used in their natural state, providing great durability and flexibility of purpose. Products used exhibit a high percentage of reclaimed materials or have been repurposed for their new use. When compared to modern standard construction methods, the approaches adopted here have resulted in savings of over 80% in both the building's operational and embodied energy. The design team have collaborated to deliver the optimum healthy indoor environment whilst the attention to detail in all aspects of the use of the building as a conference and training venue combines to deliver an optimum learning environment. Far too many buildings, institutional buildings and residential buildings go up 
looking boring and tedious, and they could be anywhere. They have no sense of the place where they were built. And St. Margaret's, as all of you who know who live here, is an incredibly special place. And what better thing to do with the natural materials that come from the chalk cliffs of St. Margaret's than to build the building out of it in such a way that building then blends into its background, complete with its chalk downland roof. You can name any of the housing estates that frankly could be anywhere at all in England with no sense of distinctiveness at all. If just some of those buildings can have the dedication and the thought and the sustainability, then we might just get the built environment of which we can be proud.